Important changes are coming to Chromebooks in 2024. So be sure and watch this video if you are planning on purchasing a new Chromebook next year. <laughs> it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. I am a passionate Chromebook user and had the great opportunity to purchase Chromebooks when they first came out about 10 years ago. Through my passion of Chromebooks, I was able to meet a man by the name of Huey Poplick who had the same passion I did. We actually got together, talked about Chromebooks, and then started Tech for Senior. That's another story. We also produced a show called Learning Chromebooks and we did a monthly series on this, which I will include the link down below and maybe up top here. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, and we will put that in there and you'll be able to see about 36 or 38 shows we did about Chromebooks. So I am a passionate Chromebook user and I wanted to do a video at the end of the year to talk about two big changes that occurred in 2023 for Chromebooks. So it's important that you do understand the changes that are going to occur in 2024 and how they might affect you. But more important is this may affect your purchase consideration of a new Chromebook. So let's go into this and I'll tell you my concerns. So the first big change that occurred in Chromebooks this year was lacrosse. Now I've done a video about lacrosse. I'll put again the link down below in the description and maybe up above and you can click that and that'll go into a deeper dive in lacrosse. But in summary, the Chrome browser that we use in the Chrome operating system is one. In other words, the, the browser and the operating system are combined. Now this is much different on a Windows machine where you have your window operating system and the Chrome browser sits as an app on top. Now what's happened over the past few years, the update cycle on the Chrome browser has got shorter and shorter. In fact, today we're often getting Chrome updates every single week. Wow, that's, that's changed a lot. So this created a big problem in the Chrome operating system on your Chromebook because the only way to update the browser in your Chrome operating system is to update the operating system. And Google did this about once a month, but as these cycles got shorter and shorter, this became more problematic. So what they did this year is they detached the Chrome browser from the operating system. And the new Chrome browser, well, it's the same as everybody else, is called LaCrosse. And that is now available on your Chromebook. And I go into great detail on that in my video about that so watch it because you should be using that now and the chrome browser is now an app that sits on the surface of the chrome operating system and it is exactly the same version and exactly the same as you would be using on your windows machine and the update cycle is the same that was a big deal for uh for google well done and i think that was a very positive uh positive thing so let's just have a look on my Chromebook now. I want to look at where what version you should be on and let me just show you where you'll find a few things about this lacrosse. So here we are on my Chromebook. You'll see the cursor here uh, with a little circle around it. Uh, I am currently using on my Chromebook Chrome OS 119 and that is what everyone should be on as of December the 9th, 2023. Now let's check and see how we know what version we're on. So as I take my mouse, we're going to come down here to the bottom right corner and I'm going to click here and you'll see settings. Now, all of you will have what I'm about to show you. Then I will show you the lacrosse feature uh, as the second part of this. So this will be the same for everybody. You're going to come down and you're going to see this little uh, gear icon here. We're going to click this. And this is going to bring us over and we're going to come down to the left side and you'll see it says about Chrome OS. Pay attention to that because we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay, so we're going to click this and we're going to come up now and you'll see that we're using version 119 
and this is the official build, and this is the current version you should be on. Now, if you're not, then just click this little button here, check for updates, and it will update it. Now, your operating system normally will update automatically. In other words, there's two copies of the Chrome operating system, a primary and a secondary copy, and Chrome automatically updates the secondary copy and switches it when you're not looking. Yes, when you turn your computer off and turn it back on again, it switches the secondary copy to the primary copy. So you always have a current up-to-date version. However, if you're a lid closer like I am and you don't actually turn it off, you just turn the lid down to make it your Chromebook go to sleep, it doesn't update the operating disk system. It doesn't switch those copies. So you might have to do it manually and you just come over here and you'll just uh, you'll just click the, the button there and it will check for any new versions. All right, so let's get out of here and I'm going to come up and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you and I'm going to bring up the Chrome browser. So let me bring up our Chrome browser now. This is where it's going to be different because I'm running lacrosse. Now on here you'll see, it looks as though, right, we've got our, our Chrome browser up. It looks as though it's the same. But what I want you to do is watch my cursor as I come over here to the top, and you'll see these three little dot menu here. Let's click this, and we're gonna come down now because I wanna find the settings for the Chrome browser. So I'm gonna come down and we're gonna click settings, Okay, and let's, uh, let's come down, and we're going to come down to About Chrome on the left-hand side here. But, but look what it says. It's about Chrome. It's not about Chrome OS, right? This, this, this is the browser that's detached from the operating system. So we now have the, this is the Chrome browser, which I use, um, I, I have on my PC as well. And it's the same version. This is version 120. So I wanted to bring this up so you don't get confused because what's going to happen is, let's go just go back and we'll go over this one more time. If you come down to the right on everyone's Chromebook now, you'll come down to the right and we're going to click settings and it's going to bring up the settings menu. Now those of you who have not converted to lacrosse, you'll come down here to the About Chrome OS or look at the settings here. And these are the settings that will incorporate changes for your Chrome browser and your Chrome operating system. Both will occur in this section. After you've converted, then you'll have two areas to set of settings to look for. There will of course be what I just showed you and then there will be the settings that you will find when we bring up your Chrome browser and you come up here and what we're going to do is go to settings and now you'll see the settings. This is about Chrome, not Chrome operating system. This is about the Chrome browser. So if you want to make any changes or changes to the settings in your Chrome browser, if you have lacrosse, you will see that's where you're going. This is where you're going to make them. And if you come up here and you look again, you'll see it's version 120. But look over here; it says Lacrosse 64 bit, and that's what you'll be. Uh, de that's what you'll be seeing. So, for those of you who have not converted to Lacrosse yet, and it is only done under experimental flag right now, as I show you in the video, but that is going to occur in early 2024 and it will occur and I'm not sure which version will it will occur in but the flip is going to occur in a version update. What will you know about this? Nothing. It'll be exactly the same. You probably won't even know what happened. The confusing part is that it's important that you understand that now you'll have two settings because you'll have the Chrome browser will be separated from the Chrome operating system. A little bit confusing there when you're looking for things, but I hope hopefully that explains it. So the second feature I want to talk about today is Chromebook Plus. This is so important that you understand this. It could have 
really important implications if you're buying a Chromebook in 2024. So let me explain how this works. So in October of 2023, Google announced new hardware specifications for a designation called Chromebook Plus. In order to get this designation, your Chromebook had to have these specifications. And if they did, and I've put those up on behind me on the board here, if they had that, then the manufacturer can call it a Chromebook Plus. Also, if you had purchased prior machines that had those standards, then Google would also designate those as Chromebook Pluses also. So big deal. What's, what's all this about? I thought it was a cool idea because if you uh, went to buy a Chromebook, then if you looked for a Chromebook Plus, then for sure you would see a certain standard and you wouldn't have to be worried about speed and RAM and all the things uh, that goes in there. You'd have a certain standard. So I thought it was a good thing. And for people who had bought serious Chromebooks this year, then most of their machines would be grandfathered in. And I expected that by the time Black Friday hit, that we would be starting to see lots of Chromebook Pluses in the store. And it would be between now and Christmas would be huge number of Chromebook Pluses. Uh, that really hasn't occurred. Uh, in fact, at least from in Canada, there were no Chromebook Pluses at Best Buy or on Amazon for Black Friday or around that time. I've seen very few Chromebooks actually for sale in the usual places I look. And we've just started to see a trickle in of new Chromebook Pluses, which will be more popular as we move into 2024. So what's my concern and why am I worried about this? Well, the first I wanna do is tell you about Chrome Unboxed. They're a great site that I would suggest you subscribe to because Robbie Payne goes through and um, tests all the new Chromebooks that are coming out, great reviews. It's an excellent site to watch if you're looking for Chromebooks. Uh, he just reviewed a Chromebook Plus with Chrome OS 119, which is what I have. Now I have a Pixelbook. I have a Pixelbook, which is a high-end Chromebook. I've had that for about five years. And it's sort of on its last legs now, and I'm looking for a replacement. I thought for sure my Chromebook would have a designated of Chromebook Plus because it meets most of the specifications, but it doesn't. So the problem here is when Robbie Payne was going through outlining all the new features of Chrome OS 119, mine did not have some of those features because it's not a Chromebook Plus. Now this coming year in 2024, I am so excited because there's going to be a lot of, let's say, AI moving in and we're going to see Chromebooks really change and move ahead here at, be, to be competitive with all the other uh, machines that are available today. So it has to change and we have to have new features. The problem is that I don't think that a lot of these new features will be available unless you have a Chromebook Plus. So we're really creating two standards. We'll have Chromebook Plus machines and Chromebook Plus and we'll have machines that are not Chromebook Plus, and certain features will only be available to the Chromebook Plus. And as we move down this road in 2024, I'm really concerned on what the functionality will be in a non-Chromebook Plus Chromebook. So I think that is so important. You've got to really watch this as we move into 2024, because you may be limiting yourself in functionality if you don't get a Chromebook Plus. So I'm so excited about Chromebooks in 2024. I think Chromebooks will continue in their popularity. I expect that LaCrosse will uh, be enabled on everybody's uh, Chromebook in the next uh, few versions. I'm not sure which one. And as we move into 2024, we're gonna see lots of changes in the operating system, particularly with AI. Now, my concern, of course, is, is how many of these features will be available for all Chromebooks and how many, many of these features will be limited to 
uh, Chromebook Pluses? And I don't know the answer to that. But you know what? I do know the answer. If you want to stay connected to all the new videos I'll be making about Chromebooks this coming year, the one thing you have to do, you know, you got it, the like and subscribe. And we'll notify you when all these videos about all the new features are coming out in 2024. Have a great day, and we look forward in 2024 to meeting you again. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Have a Merry Christmas.